Hello everyone. I am Surendra Reddy, Faculty for Electrical Machines at Ohm Institute, Hyderabad. Today we have with us Mr. Mohan Kumar, who secured state first rank in KPTCL Assistant Engineer Examination, which was conducted recently in Karnataka State. Actually, he belongs to Telangana State. He is our classroom student, and he cracked KPTCL exam with the state first rank. He is a non-local candidate in Karnataka, but he was the state first ranker. It was really a wonderful achievement, Mohan Kumar. Thank you, sir. We are proud of you. Thank you. And uh, a noteworthy point, he already cracked the NPDCL exam in Telangana very recently with a state fourth rank also. Now he is already an assistant engineer in NP NPDCL uh, organization. Now uh, he got state first rank and we will try to interact with him and uh, we will understand his preparation journey and what are the tips and tricks he will give for the future aspects. Yes, Mohan Kumar. Uh, yes, please introduce uh, yourself. Uh, yes, where are you from actually? I am from Nirmal, sir. Okay. Yeah, I completed my graduation in CVR College Engineering mm. in Hyderabad. Electrical department. Electrical department. Okay. Yes, sir. So, what about your parents? What's your parents' occupation? What they are doing? Yeah, my father was working in uh, government sector irrigation department, sir. Okay. Yeah, he is working as a helper. Okay, so mm -hmm. maybe I think your father is the main motivation behind this government job focus, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, wonderful, right? All right. So, what is your motivation behind going for core sector job only? Why do you want to go for electricity department jobs? Actually, I am interested in government service sector, sir. Mm. During my BTEC itself, uh, I planned for electrical. Okay. I'm, because uh, I am good at mathematics, sir. Mm. So, mathematics is very useful in uh, electrical engineering exam. Mm. So, that is why I chose uh, electrical and electronics engineering. Mm. Because my mathematical skills, skills are a uh, little strong. Okay. That is a confidence for me. Mm. So, in that electrical engineering exam, mm. in that electrical engineering branch, <clears throat> there is so many exams like gate and uh, mm. state exams. Yes. So, parallelly, I planned for both gate and state exams. So initially, that is the main motivation for me to try for these jobs, sir. Okay. So mm -hmm. during your B Tech days itself, itself you uh, have the zeal towards uh, yeah. electrical engineering jobs. Yes, sir. So your main uh, aim is to crack state services job, or you wanted to go for PSU? Sir, uh, parallelly I tried for both gate and uh, state exams. Mm. So initially, I focused for gate only. Okay. So after completion of my BTEC, I joined for gate course in Home Institute. Mm. Then parallelly, I am preparing for uh, gate and uh, both state exams. State exams. Yes, okay. Sir. Mm. So you initially joined for gate course. Gate course. Sir. But after the gate examination, uh, he yes. extended his enrollment to assistant engineer yes, AE sir. job preparation. Yes, sir. At Home Institute only. Yes, sir. Okay. So. Uh, how do you feel when you wrote KPTCL exam, yes, when a notification, initially KPTCL notification came before NPDCL notification. So one of the major challenge is to attempt Kannada paper because you belong to Telangana state, yes, sir. but you need to qualify in uh, Kannada language paper. Yes, so sir. how do you overcome this? Uh, in the January notification is came, sir, mm. actually. So first I, I saw the notification completely. Mm. In that notification, there is a mandatory test for Kannada language. Yes. So there is mentioned like that uh, only just passing marks is enough. Okay. So then I first of all I uh, selected one book, sir, mm. for Kannada language exam. Okay. It is a little bit uh, similar to Telugu. Uh -huh. Only fluency is little different okay. and uh, some meanings are different. Mm. So then I get little confidence to get pass uh, passing okay. marks. Okay. So in the initial days I. Uh, daily I studied for one hour for Kannada mm. exam. Mm. So after 30 days, I felt like uh, I can clear this Kannada exam at least uh, passing marks. Yeah. Okay. Like that, uh, I got some boost up. Mm. Uh, then parallelly, I prepared for uh, our electrical subjects. Okay. Mm. Right. So because in KPTCL mm. notification, they mentioned very clearly Kannada language paper is just for qualification. It won't be counted as a final mark, right? Yes, sir. So you just need to qualify. Ah, just need to qualify. Okay. So you prepared like something called uh, one month Kannada language learning, yeah. like those books, right? <laughs> those books. Sir. Okay. So basics only you learned. Yes, sir. Yeah. This is really an important point Mohan told. So see why? Because so many students uh, usually, uh, you know, they will have a fear that we cannot crack other language test because suppose if you consider me, I am a Telugu, uh, you know, candidate. I may have a fear inside me that I cannot uh, crack Kannada language paper or Tamil language paper. 
but the point is you need not to know entire language entire right? language yes sir uh, you just need to know basics Only which basics. you can learn yeah. uh, by spending how much time you spend to yeah. learn this daily like 1 hour sir when daily i'm, one hour, when okay. I'm getting like free time so one month or how much how much time you yeah, need one month enough sir one month enough yes, daily sir. one hour one month mm-hmm. okay fine so like that you overcome that kannada yeah. language just type um, mainly focus on how to write that. okay the exam yes, yes. Uh, no need to speak also mm-hmm. in the exam we yeah, are, we are correct. going to write right? only your written skills are matter yes sir yeah uh-huh. okay and what about technical paper is it syllabus the same for npdcl and kpdcl uh, any modif- any extra portion or any 80% of the syllabus is same, same. sir okay. for a- npdcl and kpdcl mm-hmm. only 20% syllabus is different okay. that we can cover in the extra hours sir yeah yeah so that's the basic point you know you write any state services exam job 80 to 90% syllabus is almost same and it will be almost like gate examination syllabus only so preparing for one exam will help you to crack many other exams yes, by putting some extra effort like uh, you know one or two subjects extra that will help you to crack any exam, any right? exam so sir. this is the best example he got state fourth rank in npdcl exam and state first rank in kpdcl exam okay Yes, all right now you are already working in npdcl yes sir now what about kpdcl are you willing to join in kpdcl actually i love kpdcl sir initially because okay. first notification is that for me uh-huh. uh, i decided to join in kpdcl itself hmm. but uh, luckily local npdcl notification okay. is also so it's came. your home I, state also yes sir i joined maybe in... you, you are near to your home right yes sir okay so <laughs> you may not consider kpdcl now yes sir Okay, unfortunately, Mohan was unable to join the KPTCL job because he already selected by NPDCL and uh, it is his home state also. Okay. Now, Mohan, um, uh, how did this OM Institute course help you to crack these two exams? Actually, initially here, uh, revision batch is uh, there, sir, in, in our institute. Yes, gate so, revision batch. Yes, mm-hmm. I, uh, I came here for the... Some difficult subjects for me. Mm. So I planned for revision batch okay. in the initial days. Mm. So I finished that course. Mm. Then after that, I felt very good at mm. my core subjects. Mm. Then uh, I planned for AWE course also. Okay. Then I took complete course for AWE. Mm. And I took uh, online course also. Okay. For revision only, sir. Revision only. After, after that. So you are actually a classroom student. Yes, sir. Uh, so once the course is completed, he also took an online uh, subscription only for the revision purpose. Yes, okay. Sir. Yes, sir. And uh, okay. And in classroom, how this course helped you? And I mean, numericals, how did you solve? What papers you practiced? Actually, I followed a regular daily schedule, sir. Okay. After finishing the classroom, mm. after going to uh, my room, mm. I used to practice handouts daily. Okay. If I have any get, uh, doubts, mm. I have to clear itself yeah. uh, on the same day. Mm. So, in that way, I got a good uh, concept skill, sir. So, you spent most of your time at institute itself? Yeah, almost, right? sir. So, <laughs> because uh, I, most of our students will spend their uh, you know time at institute itself even after the class hours also because they can interact with faculty if there are any doubts if you clear your doubts on the day itself it will obviously you know help you to learn the subject quickly okay all right that's wonderful now what are the books you practiced for numericals or theoretical questions which books you practiced for especially numerical and theory questions i practiced from is previous is questions and mm. previous gate questions okay for state exams, uh, I mostly focused on gate one mark questions only, sir. Gate one mark questions, okay. For mm. state exams. Mm. And parallelly, I tried for uh, state previous papers, sir. Okay, Pre- previous year questions from material book. From, mm. from material. Okay. I mean, lo- uh, previous Genco Transco, these paper questions. Yes, okay. sir. Mm-hmm. Okay, that is your main, uh, uh, you know, problems practice. Yes, okay. sir. So, he practiced gate one mark questions previous uh, engineering services exam question papers and also previous uh, state services exam question papers yes sir. okay so what about regular tests because practice and then attempting tests are also important right yeah in the home institute itself i used to write the subject wise test after finishing the subject okay after that i started the multiple subject tests sir mm, mm, after okay. after finishing complete course i mm. started every week uh, one mock test sir mm, mm. Uh, in the online home online okay. i used to write the mm. mock test for every weekly once sir okay so in that way in the end i used to write uh, mm. almost daily one mock test uh, mm. from the home institute itself okay. faculty provided for me like mm. uh, from the previous state exams yeah. mm. and also i wrote uh, 
Oh, marked uh, mark offline tester here. Okay, offline. And I took okay, that right. is a very serious exam. Mm -hmm. In that way, that is helpful for me to get this rank. So. Okay, so you felt mock exams are very serious, and yes. uh, you yes. have to treat it like almost like a final exam. Yeah, here also I got like uh, in the top only. Okay. So the same motivation I continued in the final, final exams exam also. also. Yes, sir. That's wonderful. See, uh, for any competitive examination. Uh, not only practice and uh, checking the status is very important. So that is why you have to regularly attempt tests. That is what we will do here. Every once a subject is completed in class, we use it to conduct one exam so that uh, students can understand in yes, which sir. areas they are lagging and they can uh, cover those mistakes. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. So write more exams and uh, you know understanding the mistakes from the examinations is very important. Yes, sir. And you should not repeat them. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, wonderful. Fine, uh, Mohan. So, how is your job now? Uh, yeah. Is it good? Yes. So, because you have so much zeal about core core engineering job, right? Yes, sir. So, you are finally in the job. Yes, sir. So, you are, I hope you are enjoying your uh, you yes. know work work culture and everything, right? Yes, sir. So, you are in which department now? No, I'm in operations, sir. Operations department. Yes, okay. Sir. So, maintaining 11 kV or 33 kV? Both 11 kV and 33 kV. Both sir. 11 kV and 33 kV. Operations department. Yes, sir. Okay. Wonderful, Mohan. Yes. Thanks, thanks sir. for coming Thank you, and sir. Uh, we are very proud of you really because uh, cracking home state exam is one thing but cracking other state exam as a non-candidate, non-local candidate and uh, securing state first is really a wonderful achievement. So you are one of the best motivation for our students. Okay. Yeah. Even I use it to say in classroom uh, just a few days back also I told them that uh, Mohan belongs to Telangana but he is topped Karnataka exam as a state first ranker. This is one example for every student that everybody can do it. So don't feel fear about uh, other state exams. You can still try and if you top the examination, uh, you know, it's yours. Okay. So subject is more important rather than what exam you are writing, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So spend some little more time on, uh, you know, any language test is there and uh, you can learn Kannada or Tamil or any hint. Hindi, of course, everybody knows that. Most of the students were uh, able to speak and write Hindi also. But especially regional languages like Kannada, Tamil, okay. Yeah. So you can uh, still, uh, you know, practice if, within one month, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Just spend for one hour, mm. we can clear any language exam, sir. Wonderful, yeah. Mokan. Hmm? Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much Thank and you, wish sir. you all the very best. Thank you, sir. Thank you.